Let's talk more about this and what's next with NBC legal analyst Ari Melber. So just listening, I was wondering, like, is there possible jail time if you go ahead and do a mea culpa, say you're sorry, kind of fall on the sword? And the answer is yes. So do you think Felicity Huffman will go to prison? Uh, I think very little, if any time. The sentencing guidelines here are under a year and there was a real admission and acceptance of responsibility. So the, the, the judge will look at this case. Is, is it one judge overseeing all these cases or are there different judges? Do you happen to know that? I don't happen to know. Yeah, I'm just but curious. I, I, I know in the initial group pleading they had one judge over, uh -huh. overlooking. But if it was assigned out two separate trials, we would expect more than one judge. So we got this first batch of guilty pleas. People are saying, OK, you got me, hoping to get a reduction in sentences. Now, these other people that are charged, can they come forward now and also plead guilty? Will they get, in some sense, like a worse deal mm -hmm. because they came late? You know what I mean? Well, as you know, there is often this race to get it resolved. And what we're seeing here, the break in this Varsity Blues story, is so many people looking at the options, looking at the evidence and saying, the best thing to do is to rush and try to take your deal. Now, a few people are holding out. There's also a grand jury meeting that could still add charges. Oh. So even though some people are getting off, there's also the idea for some that it could get worse mm. if they don't find a way to get out from under this. So Lori Lachlan allegedly pays half million dollars in what amounts to, to a bribe to get her daughter in the USC. Based on, on the, the, the plea deal here, what can we glean, if anything, about the sentence that she and her husband or she could get if found guilty? Uh, well, I think the price doesn't go to the guilt, but it does go to the expansiveness of the crime, which can okay. go to the sentencing guidelines. So basically, the people who have been involved in things here that cost more, that are more elaborate, could be up for more than six months. You're talking six months up to two years. Uh, and I think all of that just goes to whether the judges look at the totality and think this is someone taking responsibility or we still need to send a message. Is this one of those things where the defense lawyers call up the prosecutors mm -hmm. and say, let's talk, maybe it's time to resolve this? Or do the prosecutors go out to individuals and mm -hmm. say, do you want a deal? Do you want to sit down and talk about this? Our understanding is that the prosecutors made it very clear up front, look, we have everything, including the architect of this alleged fraudulent scheme, now a confessed fraudulent scheme. So there aren't a lot of choices for you. Please come back and cut a deal or we're going to go further. And again, they kept that grand jury open to keep up the pressure. All right. Ari Melber. Ari, thank you.